Les Glands is an exceptional opera that at least we feel should belong onto the stage as a part of the repertoire. Also for us, the project came out of an idea that the great tradition of the French language, and particularly French lyric diction, uh, the French language as it's sung, should be somehow accented and preserved and carried on into the future. It came from a discussion with Jean-Pierre Brossman, and we were speaking about what sorts of operas might help bring this idea of the French language through music uh, to a public in the 21st century. And we began to discuss Les Glons. Uh, for several reasons. One, um, even though it was recorded once long ago, around 1950, um, it was a very primitive recording, and it should be recorded again so we can share it with a large public um, of the 21st century. The story is fascinating. It's about the son of Napoleon. Uh, it's a part of history that we, the common public doesn't really know that well. Of course, we know so much about the famous Napoleon, but not so much about the sun. And we felt for, again, the 21st century, that would be intriguing, it would be historically interesting, uh, and really provocative for our public today. And what a better way than to use the French language, and accompanied by the OSM, one of the, yeah, I would say, most able interpreters of the French music today, to combine the language and the music and the culture together to make a big argument for why Les Glons should not be again on the stage.